Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Cousin Shane is back. Woo! We got four roses, small batch. We're going to test it! Test it! Test it! Yeah. Let's test it. All right, we're in small batch. This has been sitting on the back bar for a while. Well, we, we this was in our 16 bottle bourbon shootout, but we'd never given it its, its own, own review. Spotlight. Mm -hmm. So we'd had it blind. First of all, I love the sticker. The mm -hmm. sticker goes over. There's a guy that's messed that up before. It comes down the line and they're like, we got a problem with roses in a sticker. Because it's like a window. Well, the there's sticker. like a, there's embossing on the bottle and the right. sticker is around the embossing, right? Is that what embossing? Is that what that is? Or? That's correct. Yeah. We're going to go with it. 45%, <laughs> by the way. You said that like you knew what you were talking <laughs> yeah, about. That's right. That's how I usually roll. Hold on. That's all. No, I'll give you one just even. What? Yeah, I'll give you like a, a whiff. Mm. That. Yeah, that I am. this. Mm -hmm. And then Ooh. you can go. <laughs> yeah. You get the scent of the grain. It smells like whiskey. Yeah, I think I had something on my hand. Though. I think I did too. <laughs> right. Maybe, I, maybe so clean. that's you. the best hand sanitizer out there. It's flu uh, season. Scotch Got whiskey in your hands. Scotch God shout out. Shout it. Bun it. B U N I T seventeen oh one. Glad you spelled it. On our Colonel E H Taylor barrel proof. It's a good one. Just came out. Well, Bun it says. I don't know if that's how he wants it. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Bun you're, it. You're a good pronouncer. Was watching some old westerns with my dad a couple weeks ago and was thrilled to recognize the E.H. Taylor label when the characters decided to celebrate with the bonded. Hmm. The bonded. Bottled and bond. Mm-hmm. 1897. 1897. Tell him Bart. He, he wouldn't know what that bonded was. whiskey. Really? 1897 <laughs> is when that was enacted. I was trying to be funny. I know. Yeah. I'm just playing to it. He says, it's very cool to see that Buffalo Trace went whole hog mm -hmm. in reproducing the label. Mm -hmm. yeah. Netflix, godless. Talk about the... That is good. The, the lawman always orders bonded whiskey. Yeah, godless is a... It's well, like a spaghetti to, western days. feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a spaghetti western feel. It was pretty good. Slight Quentin Tarantino-esque mm -hmm. kind of feel. You know bit. what was cool is it's a limited series. Mm -hmm. My wife was shocked when certain characters gone. She's like, what? Bam. Thought this was a series. And then we checked. It's a limited mm -hmm. series. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Godless. Netflix. They're not even paying us. Now do you know why the lawman probably ordered bonded whiskey though all the time? I thought he was just trying to be fancy. <laughs> it wasn't but, adulterated. Yeah, because bonded was government controlled whiskey. It had to be in a government controlled had to warehouse. Be in a bottle. Had to be they had to seal it. it had to be in a bottle. They a lot couldn't. of times whiskey would just come in the cask and the so you were buying it would you were sure you weren't getting tobacco Pappy's spit. moonshine right. around the corner that right. might blind you. So yeah. by coming in a bottle and it also was strapped and it was in a warehouse where it was uh was checked and it had to be aged four years. Excellent. So you learn something every day. And it had to be fifty percent. <laughs> you learning, ABV. you're dying, people. That's it had to what be I fifty percent A B V too, right. so it was real good whiskey. Hmm. Yep. But no, because people would take whiskey and oh, add Jesus. add all Spill kinds of it. stuff to it to dilute it. God dang. <laughs> like our 18th show today. <laughs> I'm spilling it. People would take whiskey and add all kinds of stuff to it to dilute it, to mm -hmm. bring it down and mm -hmm. sell it. So bonded whiskeys, you, they weren't able to do that with. I so. can double my profits. Throw some tobacco spit in the barrel. Well, I mean, once it got to its location, Ugh. you couldn't be sure right. it wasn't happening right. anyway. That's but the Yeah, that was the problem. It wasn't the... The, the distillers, it was who they finally, they landed it at a dirty saloon. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Shane rolls in, Mark Keep, give me some whiskey. Me what the whiskey. hell is this? Inform your dealers and your whores of my particular <laughs> line of credit and pour me a drink. <laughs> name, that, right. name that series. I don't know it, but I love the way you said it. <laughs> what series I don't know is what that it? One is either. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I bet one of your people. Huh? Friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's I bet one of your people will be able one. to come up with that. Season one Seinfeld. One of your people will be able to come with, come up with that. I even okay. cleaned it up for you, folks. Real. Nothing special. Well, well now, now I know what it is, but I've never watched that show because it's dirty. What is it? Deadwood. Bam. Uh, <laughs> nothing said you cleaned it up. Nothing special to the nose on mm -hmm. this. Pretty standard bourbon. Pretty weak for 45%. It's not really jumping out at you. Cinnamons and caramels. Tastes good. 
I don't even get cinnamon. I get some dusty wood. I get a little bit even of the alcohol burn on my eyes, oddly. Mm. Huh. Let me try Nancy Fraley's technique. All right, a little bit more of the, the corn coming off the side. A little bit of corn whiskey on the palate. You know the best part of having a mustache? <laughs> you can just savor the flavor for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Put some in there and save it for later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rich caramels, cinnamon, vanilla. Mm -hmm. A little spark at the end. A little bit. It's a good bourbon. Well, we'll talk Get about a little it a little bit. Caramel in the finish. Like a caramel chew. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm that water water water. Water. yeah, I'll take a little bit. I, don't I like ice in my bourbon. I like cold bourbon. Mm -hmm. But see, the colder it is, the less flavor you'll get. I didn't like it. Right. You drink it the way you want. That mm -hmm. is our method. And you drink it however you want it. Mm. I usually pour about four fingers. Well, well Glenn I pour Karen, about three maybe, fingers. In a rocks glass. But I like doing my fingers like that. <laughs> <laughs> in a rocks glass or in like a Glen Karen? What do you drink? Um, or Coke can? I mean, what do you? you know, one of them, one of these little glasses you all gave okay, me. Okay, yeah, pretty, pretty neat. We've given this. you a glass. We've given you. You a have, you yeah, have. Yeah, they take care of their people. Mm. Candy corn. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the waxiness. I don't know if it's a waxiness on here. That's what I get from the candy corn there. Showing enough. Mm -hmm. Just a good all around mm -hmm. drinking bourbon. HMFT. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just sitting around. The finish is sugary sweet. Ain't got nothing going on. Kids are outside. <laughs> One thing leads to another. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> A little bit of butterscotch. Hmm. Now, I'd asked you before we started, because I couldn't remember, what's the four roses that's hard to get a hold of? And a little pricier. Well, they do the ones that have the um, the, the single barrels that are, or, uh, and they're the, the recipe, like the OBSQ, the, right. you can, and so tell how much corn, rye, what yeast? I think there, I think a couple different yeasts that they use. <laughs> All right, we're back. Bart had to go get the door real quick. Doorbell rang. Chupacabra went off. Bam! I've scored it. What do you give it? Eighty-five. Mm -hmm. I give it an eighty-seven. So right there, not bad. Really smooth. Uh, now this, I would say, is a good intro bourbon. No, for the price point, twenty-five dollars. Yes, price point. It's not barrel proof, so not, I understand that. I want, no, I just want more flavor. If I'm introducing somebody to a bourbon, I want their their tongue to be delighted. Yeah, but you also want something smooth, light. Usually you start them smooth and light. I got you don't jump in there and punch them right on the tongue. You don't go, stick out your tongue, and then reel <laughs> and, then and slap, slap it. <laughs> I believe you're the slapper. <laughs> I believe you have a history stick. of slapping stuff. Have you had bourbon before? Hands. No, stick your tongue out. Right. You're the guy that you could be like, this is a great Glenn Carrick. <laughs> oh! And you'd be like, what? Ah, well, that was funny. Oh, no, it was not funny. Mm, yeah. This is a good beginner bourbon. If you want them to drink scotch. <laughs> if you want to push them toward the rye. I think, now bourbon. I got a buddy. Now I have a buddy that has a history of. Mixing bourbon with Coke or whatever it is. Sure, he likes fine. mixing. You again, drink the way you However, want. However, up at our place, mm. our little recreational cabin, I'll bring in a nice bottle of something. Yeah. Set it there, and I'll look over, and he'll be mixing it. And it's almost cost him his life a couple of times. <laughs> but I always try to have something like this on hand. Not, I'm saying this, I'm, this sure. is how I drink my bourbon. Sure. Like this. And I'll drink this like this because it's good. But. Just like if, this. If you want something that people that might want to mix a bourbon with a Coke, you want to bring the price point down. Mm -hmm. well, I can go Coke lower Coke. than this if I want them to mix that's it true with too. Coke. Yeah. 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 That's true. But I still want to drink it like this. If I was going to drink it like this and he wants to mix it, 
I'm okay with that happening. Heaven Hill has a good entry, not that you can get it everywhere, bourbon for like fifteen dollars. Right? Is that Cheaper the white that. label? Is that the white Eleven label? Eleven bucks. <laughs> and I would give them that <laughs> if they were new because the Heaven Hill is a six year bottled in bond. Right. Then there's the ten year too, right? Yeah, nine or ten year which we haven't well we, we don't say we had a, a, a super a scotch god yeah. send us that one. Yeah. But all right. So anyway. Now, before we, well, we got to do a no, Patreon. Wait. You were talking bourbons and this and that and how you drink this. You were at the Christmas party, and I took, I had a few bourbons out there in the Buffalo Trace, mm -hmm. George Stag. Did you You're sample? a generous man. You tried some of those. But I also, I had these sitting over here, and I told people, I go, these are not for mixing. Those are for mixing. These are not for mixing. <laughs> no, you want to mix, yeah. you want to put coconut. You mix with, with that with anything, 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 you're going to get punched in the face. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yourself. Meaning that you had <laughs> your BTAC George T. Stagg there. Yeah. Right. That's the one it took. That's where it took a hit. When the I pulled out, we were doing uh, 20, uh, 17. 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah. Because we I was were doing like, our top flies and I pulled it out and there's like this much I'm left. Like, what the heck? I got that. Took it to a work party. Took it to a work party. party and I was like, wow. Uh, you're he a did. generous yeah, man. He did. Yeah. But a lot, everybody, I think everybody that tried it liked it, though, I too. I think everybody enjoyed it. And uh, Matt, even, he tried it. He's not a big bourbon guy, mm -hmm. but he really, he's like, i got to have my wife try Did this. Did John this try he, it? He even tried it. Uh, I've never sure. seen him try. But um, Matt even read, he's like, wow. These this, are all this people you different. don't know. <laughs> yeah. How about Matt? Timmy. Timmy tried Matt, it. Matt was like, this Timmy. is tiny Timmy Tim. Timmy went back twice. Said, God bless us, everyone. That's right. Christmas That's party. right. <laughs> even Matt recognized that it was... It, there was something different to mm -hmm. that George Stagg, and it stood above Xavier. That fifteen found it delicious. years, <laughs> yeah. So he had to have there his wife no even try it. <laughs> There could be an Xavier. <laughs> I'm he sorry did. for trying to tell yeah. a story, but no, 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 all no. All the no. names I, I, were very important. Yes, but yeah. you have your mixing whiskeys, right? Yeah, and you have your non -mix, mixing whiskeys. Miskin, Mis Miskin whisk. And, I, and then you got I your whiskeys. You some questions. And then you got your whiskeys that'll just kind of I pull. I, need some I think this is a, a dual purpose whiskey. I'll drink this all day long like this. That's true, but and but if someone came over and mixed it, you wouldn't be offended because no, it's twenty five no. bucks. Right. Exactly. Boom. Yeah. But you still tell that to my it. friend Gatch. There you go. <laughs> I knew who he was talking about too. Seventy five dollar bottle of whiskey with squirt. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Traveling, <laughs> traveling dummy. You got a, a chorus or something? You just something you want to break out? You know, no singing this time. Throw well, something out there. Give us a famous, Your no, famous wait. deal was yeah. The, give the us something from Hallelujah. Give Hallelujah. Give them Hallelujah. A, you gotta go back and watch just Glenn Live at eighteen. Yeah. Glenn Live at eighteen. The Hallelujah. <laughs> give us a verse. Give us. And he's hilarious. Ten that. seconds. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift. There you go. Ooh, you get you actually you get a little twist on that That's one from one. the actual yeah. from the Glenwood yeah. 18 one. And we're upstairs in the kitchen, which really not as good for the show because we didn't have mics that cut the echo, but your singing was like in a cathedral. Yeah, right? like yeah. Amplified Everybody it says, yeah, it did. Really, yeah. yeah. So uh, kitchens and bathrooms, I do that. Hmm. Love it. Uh the one glass man. Traveling Love dummy. Love this pick. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, he's in Tokyo, Japan. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's There's a coin. Cast two coin. Can't see the number. It's a little Look at out of the focus. Lighting. God, that's awesome. The Sensoji Temple. Love it. In Tokyo, Japan. Beautiful. That is pretty neat. Yep. So the virtual dummies have traveled to Put Tokyo. That yeah, it's already been. Hopefully oh. when we were quiet, they were looking at it with <laughs> us. It's like they were in communion. That's a traveling dummy, right? That's there. a beautiful one. So keep sending those in. Uh, we got some folks that send us some all the time. Tracy, Tracy's great. So he's like our backup guy, but, uh, but we want again, um, a lot of folks, it can be a coin, a hat, the shirt, a glass, whatever. Patreon. I know we mentioned the price. Did we talk about, was it worth it? 25 bucks. It you is. You did. If we did you not. said it was, it was, it was, it was great. I said, yeah, sure. We don't have any coins. 
at, when we're filming they this, we are out there. of coins. When you're watching this, when we this should have them. Post, they should be in. Right. Go to castdummies.com. Cask three. Yep. You Our, can buy a hat, a shirt, a coin, a glass. Support us on Patreon. Our Patreon shout out. Our super we scotch have, god. We have two, two we're three dollar supporters we, that get a photo and a yell. Well, we've had so many. We've we've tons, had so many people come in this year. Tons. We start. We're starting to fall behind again. We got to try to get caught Way up. behind. John Post is a three dollar supporter. And John Post. 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 Not John Bon Jovi. John Post. Could be. Maybe John that's Post. Thank you. Name. Cheers. Could be. Thanks, John. Uh, now, with the three dollars supporter, you can send us a picture, and we'll put it in here. John didn't want his picture. He, taken. Said, he said, "Nope, I'm famous. <laughs> I'm actually John Bon Jovi, mm -hmm. and I don't want to put my photo on there because this yeah. is my secret name. That's all made up." I understand that. Yeah. Give us some John Bon Jovi lyrics. Whoop something out there real quick. I was trying to think of a John Bon Jovi. I thought something real quick. Oh, we're living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Oh, <laughs> John Post, not John Bon Jovi. My voice can't do any of that. John and Post. Russell Fulmer. We got a phone Russell, Russell Fulmer. Fulmer. Russell Fulmer. Three dollar supporter, Russell Fulmer. We do have his picture, and you're looking at it right now with his lovely wife, lovely couple. He said, "Here we are, boom, lovely." We'll put it up there, Mister Fulmer. You did good. We appreciate it. Thank you yes, very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the support. Not Russell Bon Jovi. True. Russell, Russell Crowe. It's Russell Crowe. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's famous now. <laughs> All right. So uh, great. Th thanks to John and and Russell both for and, supporting us. And we will be working through um, some more Patreon support. Uh, if you want to support us, please go to patreon.com. You can just look at Scotch Test Dummies, and you'll find us on there. You can do as much as a dollar a month, dollar a show, up to twenty dollars a show if you want. Probably more if you're, if you're John Bon Jovi. That's right. <laughs> you can do That's more. That's a drop in the bucket, That's people. It. That's right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Bye, dummies.